The York County Sheriff's Department says a pursuit that started here at Road H and Road 15 in rural York County ended just a few miles away in the city of York. In an instant, two people and a canine with the York County Sheriff's Department were killed. Sheriff Paul Verpka says a deputy first tried to pull over a pickup driving erratically along Road H just after 11 Tuesday night. He turned around, activated his lights. Investigators say the 43-year-old driver now identified as Joseph Stoltenberg sped off, hitting 100 miles per hour, so the deputy called for backup. About 10 minutes later, deputies say the suspect stopped and got out of the truck, telling them he had a gun and wanted to die. Verbka says they were not sure if he had a weapon or not. One of the officers said I was going to rush him and tackle him, but then all of a sudden he's going, I'm not going to approach him if he does have a firearm in his, in his clothing concealed. And then both officers said they thought about shooting him but they didn't see a weapon. Verpka says the suspect managed to steal a canine unit with the deputy's dog Nitro still inside and drove off into town. York police and state troopers joined the pursuit, which lasted for about 30 minutes. The sheriff says the suspect stopped on the railroad tracks at 19th and Delaware, got out, then drove off again. Investigators say he turned around, rammed into another driver waiting for the train to pass. The impact killed that driver, Kyle Ediger, a beloved teacher and coach in Hampton. The suspect also died along with K-9 Nitro. It was a horrific night for me and the staff. Uh, it was bad enough that we lost a victim that was an innocent bystander, so to speak. And then we also lost our police service dog. I'm just glad the deputies weren't killed. The sheriff's office says they're conducting an autopsy of Stoltenberg now. They're calling this crash a tragedy. Catherine Garcia, KETV News Watch 7.